Let's go. Oh, 653. 89. Let's go. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope you're all having a great day. In the last two episodes, I promised you guys I would actually complete a video with every single weapon and armor that got released with the brand new raids update. With that being said, you guys seen the title, you guys seen the thumbnail. I'm sure I put something along that in there. I'm not gonna act like it's a hiding game or anything like that. I got the motherfucking twisted bow. I feel like I've been doing this whole screen thing in the past two videos. The third video might be a little bit too much, but I couldn't resist. I've got to show this baby in the display screen. Look at the stats on it, but that's not. Not the only special thing about this it actually fires dragon arrows and has a extremely high accuracy and damage rate so that means we're gonna hit up corp see how well it works we're gonna hit up bandos we're gonna do everything that we can test this baby out we should hit some insanely high hits i heard it can hit up over 90s on regular hits and i can't wait to see how it goes as of right now this is the strongest range weapon in the game for pvm at the same time it's worth over 1.1 bill yeah, you heard this right. This is an extremely expensive item, an extremely powerful item, and I am so excited to be able to use this today. So the first place we're going to try this out is actually at Bandos. He's got extremely high magic. Oh my god, the first hit ever, a 51. Okay, so the first hit is a 51. I am so excited for this. Hopefully we can get some massively high hits, like a 90 or something like that. I'm not even fully ranged by or anything like that. I hit a 51 unpotted, guys. I am ready for this. Oh shit, Ford 70! 70 with the bow. No way. Just a regular 70 hit. Wow. I heard this thing can actually hit a 90. I'm not 100% sure, though. I don't have rigor, but we're going to see how much we get with just Eagle Eye. Oh, 430 XP drop. That's a 61. Into a 269 XP drop. 39 for the KO. 509 XP drop. A 72. So far, the 72 is the max we've hit so far. And then a 480 XP drop to kill this thing. I literally just destroyed this Bandos. Wow. 319, 45. Look how fast we're killing this. Oh, 614 and 87. No. Dude. I just hit an 87 on this thing. What the fuck? Started off with a 60. This thing is so... Oh, 5 nifts. Oh, 60 into an 82. What the fuck, dude? 37? I'm on Ecker right now, too. Are you serious right now? Wow. This thing is absolutely insane. I am so hyped for this bow. Like, literally, they might actually nerf this thing, actually. Or Bandos Tassets prices are going to drop if people can get a hold of this. The only thing... Oh, 586? 83! What? Oh, 587! 283! So that 82 and an 83 and one kill? Damn! Oh, 587, another 83. That might just be like my lucky number or something like that. I'm soloing Bandos right now. Oh, 550, 78 on a Bando solo. Come on. Ooh, we can, dude, I can actually solo Bandos with this easily. Like, I'm, I killed it already. Into an 82. Bando solo, boys. Let's go. Killed it. That fast. On a Bando solo. What the fuck? So one thing I wanted to do is actually test this thing out on the max hit combat dummy. But for those of you guys who do not know, this bow actually relies on their magic levels and attack bonuses and whatnot for the max hit of the bow itself. Might sound a little bit confusing, but I actually looked up and the combat dummy only has one magic level. So I'm assuming I'm not going to hit too high on it. You're supposed to be able to max, so pretty much I'll do an example. I'll have my tent whip. I can max a 19 on this right now with no pots or prayer or anything at my strength level of 73 on my my range tank so that's the max hit without that so what that is pretty much showing is that this thing should hit the max hit but it also depends on the magic level and this thing only has one magic level so i'm assuming it's going to hit extremely low i'm not even going to range pot or anything it doesn't really matter if it hits low then it's going to hit very very low let's see 16 yeah so this thing only has one magic level so it pretty much a hundred percent relies on the magic level of the opponent that you're fighting or you will be hitting up pretty much shit like you guys have seen it 16 on one so if you attack somebody with one magic or a monster with one magic you'll be able to max a 16 interesting so now we'll do it the opposite way i've actually got a combat ring here and i've got my friend in some pretty high magic bonuses who also has 99 magic so we're gonna go ahead and try to hit him with our bow and see how high we can actually max hit on him he's got some food and whatnot we're gonna go and try to take him right out of the game let's do the first shot right now i'm gonna make sure i'm completely range potted and let's do this let's go okay 129 we're just gonna keep hitting him we're gonna let him eat after a bit we're gonna see how high oh 344 of 56 on him i could have just two hit him right there this thing is gonna have its usages in the deep wilderness i'm already calling it now if you want to bring it down anyways okay so we ate let's do another one 324 look how accurate this is 53 
Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Remember, we're on accurate as well, guys. Okay. 98. I'm not using rigor whatsoever. Ooh, 325, 53. So, so far, the highest we've hit was a 56 or a 58. Not bad at all. Yeah, maybe if he magic potted and stuff like that, it hit a little bit higher. This is all just for maxing purposes. All right, so now I'm actually going to compare it and test it on somebody who's not wearing any sort of mage gear and see if we can still max out the same. I'm going to make sure I'm completely range potted as well, and we are going to see what we can hit. Okay, so, so far, a zero. Let's see if we can hit anything good. 78. So far, the hits are low. Could just be RNG, though. 172. And let's go for a big hit. Big hit. 31. Okay, so, so far, I've noticed the difference. Could be bad RNG, though. I'm not 100% sure. So, we're just going to hit him, and then we're going to hit my friend. We haven't hit anything high at all. Maybe we can still get something. 62. Come on. Let's get a big XP drop because of the new update. You can still hit, even though they have lower HP. And a 98 XP drop. That was really bad. Now, let's just do a shot at the Arams. And instantly, a higher hit than we hit the entire time. Back again. Come on, let's see what we can hit. Maybe I just had bad RNG on him. I'm not 100% sure, but he's going to come back in, and I'm going to shoot him again and see if we got just bad RNG. Come back in, Heath. Okay, we're hitting really good on the Aram so far. Ooh, 38. We just killed him. So now we're going to go back into the Graceful. 30. Okay, so so far the 30 is the highest on the Graceful. Okay, so now that's a little bit of a better hit. 30, 34, but that's nothing like the 58 that we hit on him, on him before. Okay, so a 40. That was really good. So we had bad RNG at the first time. So now I'm going to try this out on somebody with a lower magic level, but they're also in lower tier magic gear. He's only got 69 magic, so we're going to see if we can hit anything good on him. He's got low defense as well. We're pretty much completely potted, so let's see what we're hitting. So far, nothing too good. Always could just be RNG. We could just continue doing it, but we're hitting a lot lower, it seems. We could still hit like a 40, maybe a 50 on him. I'm not 100% sure, but he's only got 69 magic. Another boss that I'm going to try out is actually Sarah Dolman. These two people were sitting here trying to take my world after I came here first. All I had to do was show them the Twisted Bow, and they don't even want to come in now. Or at least I'm pretty sure they said they didn't want to come in. Anyways, I'm going to try out Sarah Dolman. It's got really, really high magic level, so I should be able to hit extremely hard on it i can't wait to see how well it does and let's get right on into it let's go Ooh, first hit 50 all right not bad just just fuck it up just fuck it up oh 388 come on 50 50 53 okay not bad at all let's see if we can get like a 90 on this guy this is our first kill our first attempt so i'm not too bad i'm actually using accurate guys as well because we are going for the max hits is the main goal of this oh shit 48 okay 62 that would have been bigger if he didn't hit right there not bad at all. And then a God Sword Shard off the minion. Hilton coming. Oh, 653. 89. Let's go. 89 into a 47. Oh, 637. 87. Wow. This thing is nuts. Oh, 572 XP drop. That's a 78. Oh, 578. 79. So, so I hit a 78 and a 79. Oh, 521. I'm hitting f fucking. I'm just destroying this thing into a 425 XP drop. I just three hit fucking Sarah. Come on, 564, 77. All right. It seems like 70s and anything under 80 is like an average hit for this. 528, 72. We're about to kill this thing. Ooh, 315. KO this thing so fast, guys. Into a 264. Boom. That was a fast Sarah kill. About 25 seconds or something, I think. Oh, 594. What's that? An 81. Not bad. Oh, an 81 into a 71. Wow. Can we get another? That's two hit. Okay, so we literally two hit this thing and it's 80 HP. What the fuck? Ooh, okay. 65 into what? Nothing yet. I want to get a 90. Come on, boys. A 90. Is that another 65 or a 62? 62. I'm not really even full-blown killing this thing. 78. Uh-huh. 62, 63 to 78. Ooh, 587. An 80. Dude, this thing is so nice. Ooh, 660. A 90. A 90. No. I caught it. Wow. I just hit a 90. Let's go. And then I just KO'd it right there, probably. Or almost. Damn. I hit a ton of high hits. I'm not going to put every single one in there, but it's safe to say that this thing absolutely wrecks Sarah. So when I actually first acquired the bow, I was really anticipating going ahead and trying it out at Corporal B. Since I know that it's got like a really high magic level, I figured I'd be hitting extremely hard on it. But then I ended up finding out that they ended up capping it. Yeah. 
You got that right. They capped it on Corporal Beast, so you can't be hitting like 80s and 90s on Corp, which would be pretty insane. Although you can hit hundreds of the Ruby Bolts, but it's very infrequent. I still like really hit a lot of damage, and I completed this duo kill here at my friend, and we ended up getting Onyx Bolts as well. But I am not going to put a full review of the bow on it with Corp, because you guys can just see this kill as enough proof that you really don't hit anything too high. I did a couple more kills after that to figure out, but yeah, it is capped. Let's see, 339 XP drop, like a 41 and whatnot. I think I maxed like a 48 or something something like that on corp if you have rigor you can probably hit a little bit higher um but it's not anything like drastic like the 80s and 90s you've seen on the other bosses it's still really good and it gives the rangers a fighting chance and once i get a hold of mine to actually keep of the twisted bow i'll actually be coming to corp as well and doing it with max mains and stuff like that so i can eventually get the corporal beast pet which before the twisted bow came out was actually impossible almost for my account to get because it was so hard for me to get kills not in like a massive mass and if you're in a massive mass you still have like a really hard time getting and kills anyways and but when i came with max mains and stuff like that it was a really hard time to get kills on my range tank even with ruby bolts i think i have like one to two kc or something like that on my range tank in total so it would have been very 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 hard to get the corporal beast pet unless i got extremely lucky as you guys do see right there i am keeping up with the completely max main as well it is still really really good and it's very interesting to see that you can actually do this with a bow i should have stood closer than him at this kill because i noticed he was targeting me a lot because i was further away from him there's more splash damage and stuff like that but at the same time it was pretty cool and i am extremely excited to do corp with this weapon as well overall this weapon is absolutely insane no matter what it doesn't matter if it's good at corp or not this like the other bosses and stuff like that is all that really matters overall i guess because they're not just gonna let you hit hundreds and stuff like that on corp that would literally crash the price of ellies and stuff like that and corporal beast is one of the hardest bo like bosses quote unquote and i'm not even gonna cut anything here guys I'm, whatever and like quote unquote it's literally like one of the hardest bosses and stuff so i really hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you in the outro and that's a wrap really hope you guys did enjoy this video the twisted bow is absolutely insane this weapon is like beyond crazy literally it is so fucking good i can't even believe it i wasn't expecting it to be this good for real i know it's worth a ton of money and it's probably going to drop to like the same price as an ellie or so but if it does stay higher that'd be really really interesting i don't really want a hundred thousand people having this weapon it has to stay extremely priced or it's got to be nerfed pretty much because people just go to bandos crash you sarah crash you it, there's literally nothing you can do especially if they're on slayer tasks they'll be insane during void and stuff like that that you can get crashed so easily this weapon is so powerful it was literally to the point where i hit like under an 80 and that was a low hit so it's pretty insane i was hitting those hits super accurately i did this test video in just a few hours time it was really really interesting i had so so much fun with this weapon i'll definitely be having more content with it be sure to subscribe if you're new i hope you guys did enjoy this video hit the thumbs up if you did shows me you like it there's gonna be new weapons new videos coming every single day hope to see you there be the first one to see my new content and i appreciate your view if you made it this far in the video you're an absolute beast thank you so much i can't thank you enough you literally are helping me so 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 much thank you again absolute beast hope to see you guys all in the next video trying to keep a little bit of a shorter outro in like short words this fucking weapon is absolutely insane it may get nerfed it probably won't though but it is absolutely insane i haven't even tried it with rigor yet and once rigor comes you already know we're gonna be testing this bad boy out again so hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you all in the next one tomorrow peace